there's only one of its kind left in the southern hemisphere. Its engines kept in their original condition. But across Lake Wakatipu at Walter Peak, the high country farm landscape was far from authentic, covered in a forest of introduced pines. It's to do with being New Zealanders, to being custodians of the land, and, um, and being more interested in tussock country and native forest rather than pine trees. It may look green, but these trees are anything but, blanketing the land with conifer needles that stop all other native species in their tracks. But worse, the forest was spreading across the mountainsides in front of Queenstown. But the prevailing wind comes down the valley and um, the, the seeds from the Douglas fir just, just disappear at high speed. Under the careful guidance of the Wakatipu Wilding Conifer Group and Department of Conservation, the largest privately funded wilding pine eradication in the Wakatipu district began. 90 hectares of the invasive pines taken out. The operation that sits behind it is massive. There's a lot of planning. The smaller trees are sprayed. The larger ones, thousands of them, removed by local contractors over an intensive 10 weeks and in difficult conditions. Walter Peak hard to access, the weather unkind. And it started to rain in April, then it snowed later on in April. So the process got slower, the logging trucks got stuck in the mud and the difficulty in extracting the timber just uh, compounded. Real Journeys had been leasing this land for its restaurant and farm tours for years. But it wasn't until it bought the 155 hectares at the end of 2013 that it was able to plan for its long-term future. I reckon it's good um, if you own some land to enhance it for the future. And I think that sort of goes with the um, ethos of Real Journeys and conservation and looking after the land. Just a year after it began, the scale of the effort was recognised by a Department of Conservation Award. It is conservation, it's a, it's a two-step process. You've got to take away the trees and you put the, put the right stuff back. Long lost vistas would eventually emerge. So this is just a mixture of um, greyland, shrubland sort of trees. Thousands of native plants put back in, work that will be ongoing. You never look at the whole job where you sort of go, how are we going to complete this? So it's just one, one bit at a time. A public walking track and campsite have been built and soon it's hoped the sound of native birds will once again be heard here. Thanks to Real Journey's award-winning conservation work, the trip across the lake in an original steamship ends up at a high country farm that reflects that same New Zealand heritage of a hundred years ago.